Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fish Door County TV. Well, as you can see, this week we're out, it's sunset, we're out on the reefs in Sturgeon Bay, and we're chasing some big Door County walleyes. And this is the time of the year, this early August, through the entire month of August and even into September, that you really want to take advantage of this great walleye fishing we have up in our area here. Get out on the reefs like we are tonight, we're going to show you how to do it, we're going to show you some big fish as well. So stay tuned, we'll be back in about one minute. Alright, well, we're off to a good start tonight here, guys. And as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, we troll planer boards a lot. It's the outside board, of course. It seems like Murphy's Law a little bit sometimes after dark. A lot of times those outside boards will be going and make things a little more interesting. But we'll take them wherever we can get them. And like we said, we're trolling walleyes tonight and we're fishing reefs. Yeah, we're a little north. Well, in the Sturgeon Bay area and to the north, you can fish these reefs all summer long. August is prime time for this type of bite. And oh, we got another one on here. Got two fish on. There we go. We got a second one on here. <laughs> this is how it can get at night out here. When you get on the tops of these reefs, you can get two fish going at a time, three, four sometimes even, and it really makes for a fun night. Like I was saying, when these fish get on, the key to these fish is that they're on spots. And when I mean spots, I mean they're in these reefs, but they're right on top of certain areas in the reefs. It's not, it's not like they're always spread across a whole structure. So a lot of times it's fast bites, a lot of bites in certain little areas, and then coming back around and working the spots. So really pay attention to your chart plotters. Really always waypoint these spots when you get a bite going especially. Because throughout the night, you're going to find that the waypoints that you make right in the beginning of the night those first few bites are going to pay off throughout the whole day or the whole night. Let's get this guy in here. And that other fish has got our board completely buried out there. It'll make it even more interesting. We're going to get into some detail here as soon as we get these couple fish in. We're going to show you guys what we're using and how we do it. Because this is something that's really, that everybody should really get out and enjoy at least once a year. Uh, it's actually a fun bite. Grab the net here, get this guy in. We kind of got one of those messes here that we talk about because this fish is in the other board, which may very well still have a fish on it. Okay, not a big fish, but a nice start to the night. All right, so we'll unhook this guy. It's a nice little fish, just a nice little Door County walleye. Uh, on the reefs after dark, like we said. Not a big fish by any means. We're gonna see a lot bigger fish tonight than this one. But a nice way to start the night off. And this guy's gonna keep a few to eat once in a while. These are the size to keep. We're gonna put most of them back tonight, but uh, nice way to start the night. Seems 
like a decent fish. And you know, like you said earlier, Mike, we really got a good shot at catching a big one here tonight. The conditions are right. We've had a blow here. It seems, seems like, you know, you get into August here in Door County, you get nothing but wind here for a while. But uh, it really does help the walleye fishing, uh, especially when you come out here at night. The wind usually dies down. We're getting pretty close. Try to net in here. Do this all at once. <laughs> here we go. That's not a bad fish. Really nice fish. This fish just hammered this bait. Oh, come on, hooked. I'll tell you what, you get out here this time of the year, this time of the night, and uh, you know, you never know what the size of the fish that you're gonna get out here. We started off, we had a nice eating size one. Obviously this one's a little bit too big to eat, probably pushing 24, 25 inch, somewhere around there. We're gonna let this one go. We're gonna keep fishing, and I'll tell you what, like Mike had said, we're gonna kind of show you, give you an idea of what we're using and how we're using it to catch these fish. You know, guys, if you're going to come up here and try this fishing yourselves, as you can see by the action we're having tonight, it's definitely something you should consider doing. Uh, bait choice is going to be probably the first thing that you're going to consider uh, when you decide what to do when you get out here on the water. And, you know, we get asked a lot, what's our favorite colors, what's our favorite baits? And to be honest with you, color sometimes is a night-to-night -night thing, especially when you're fishing after dark like we are this time of the year. Uh, overall, we like darker pattern colors, as you can see here. Um, classic example of a couple of this is a reef runner here uh, this is a lights out color it's called it's a darker purple black a lot of times after dark anything with that purple a pink you know contrasted with a darker color that sometimes is your best choice a couple other you know a couple other examples here this is another lights out color it's just a different variation of that color a little more pink in it than purple but as you'll see, a lot of the baits that we use this time of the year have a contrast to them, as I call them. They might have a purple or a pink, but like this is a blueberry muffin color. Um, it'll have a, you know, it has a chartreuse belly. Uh, even some of our husky jerks that we'll troll. This is a custom painted one by JT Tackle. Uh, purple, black bars, you know, again, contrasting with the chartreuse. These are the key things at night. A lot of times it seems that the baits that contrast compared to a solid colored bait, uh, they seem to be the ticket. And when it comes to what type of baits, we really prefer anything with that longer, thinner profile. If you're used to trolling down in the lower bay, you know, you're used to trolling flicker shad, shad wraps, those type of things because of the predominant bait population down there being gizzard shads. You get up here into this area, you're looking at a lot of AOI, some smelt, spot tail shiners, all of those fish, all those bait fish to these walleyes up here, they have a longer, narrower profile. So get yourself some deep diving husky jerks, get yourself some shallow and deep running reef runners, get some contrasting colors, purple, pinks, you're going to put a lot of these walleyes in the boat when you're out at night. We got one on, we actually got, Timmy, Tim, we got two on. We might actually have three on, guys. Definitely working two here. Outside board on this side, yanking back on us and <laughs> this is what we talked about. I mean, we're coming up on the tip of the reef. The wind's picking up on us right now. It's actually making fishing a little difficult. But the fish are on the reef and that's one thing about it. You got to use good sense out here. We talk about it all the time, guys, but use good sense, especially at night. Be very smart about the wind out here, especially when you're trolling offshore reefs. Don't ever push the issue. But when the wind is safe, but blowing a little bit, these fish will get up on the shallowest spots on these reefs. Oh, we got three on now. I got four on now. We got another one right here, Tim. This is pretty cool. This is what happens. You get four on at a time. We talked about it when we started the night. When the bite is on and you find the right spots on these reefs, what we talked about with finding the spot on the spot, as you might say, this is not uncommon. And of course, it's one of those nights we could use a few more people in the boat. We're going to make do. These fish cooperate with us and stay in there for a little while. We're gonna put them in. Here we go, guys. Got a nice fish here. There we go. That's a nice walleye right there. Not a monster, but a beautiful fish. I mean, you will take that fish any day. And look at how he really ate that bait. When you get the colors dialed in right, they'll really T-bone them hard. And we're gonna get this fish unhooked 
we're gonna work on these other ones here so we don't get too big a mess going. Like you said, on a night like tonight, wish we had about four or five people in the boat because we're in the halfway through a four fish bonanza right now and uh, this would be the second one if we get it in. Mike, that first one you had was, you know, probably 24, 26 inch in that range. And uh, this one feels like a good fish as well. It's good when you're fighting big fish to have uh, some pretty good reels. You know, we got these Shimano line counters. The drags are good on them. Let's us know exactly where we at. We got these nice rods that we're using, these Shimano trolling rods. And, um, you know, when you're fishing for big fish, you know, that's kind of what, what we're doing here. We're trying to find some really big walleyes. We're getting close here. It's nice to have good equipment. I'm going to get this fish in the net here. Oh, that's a nice fish, boy. I'll tell you what. Take these fish any time, any time of the year. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that, come off with the net. Well, next time we come out here, we come out here with four guys. I'll tell you, Mike, the last, you know, the last three, three of these fish have been in that 24 to 26 inch range. Beautiful fish, obviously a little bit bigger than the, you know what we want to keep for eating. We're gonna let these fish go. Well, we're working on our number three here of the four on, and we really got some chaos going on here. But this is kind of fun. Don't know where we're at. Okay, here he is. He's hooked up in the other board now. Don't know if we still got that other one on. This isn't a big fish. Not a bad one. Let's see if I can get him in with our board, and I don't know. Okay, there we go. Not a bad fish. If you're calling those little, that's really not too bad. We don't know if we still got that other one on yet or not. Let's get this guy unhooked first. And like I said, that's, you know, that's the eater size right there. That's the kind we want to keep and eat. If you're going to do that, uh, try to use good judgment how many a guy takes home each night, of course, but this is a good eating size right here. But we're going to check that fourth rod now and get Tim on it and see there's any more left out here in our little barrage of fish there. Mike, I'll tell you, the next time we come out here, we're coming out with an army full of people in the boat. And I gotta tell you, this, I, this fish really feels like the one we're looking for. Pulled back pretty well. I'm having a hard time gaining line on it. And you know, it's one of those nights as we're going here, the wind is just continually picking up. It's, you know, just getting a little bit rougher as we go. Fish don't mind. Fish are actually biting quite well. But that's walleye fishing. I mean, we're having a great time. We're catching some really nice fish. You know, this could be a night that you can catch your, you know, if you're looking for a 30 inch, you could catch one on a night like tonight. We've got a real late moon coming up later on. Pretty much total darkness right now. Barely hooked. That's a beauty. Boy, they're just crushing those baits. I mean, they, they just are crushing them. You see how they're hooked? That fish actually had that whole bait in its mouth. And when we got it in the net, get it one hooked here. Boy, a night like tonight, we got some great wave action. The fish are biting. And you know, this has been some of the fish that we've been catching tonight. You know, you got to get up here and experience some of this. And come right now. Here we are. We're in the month of August. We're catching some great walleyes. Get up here. Get yourself out here at night. And you're going to catch some walleyes like this. Well, we got another one on here, guys. And, and what's funny, and it's kind of something I guess everybody should pay attention to, is that most of our bites tonight, to be honest with you, are trolling into the wind. And we've got, as you can probably see a little bit in here for sure, we've got a pretty stiff wind straight out of the north maybe a little northeast. And what's funny about it is a lot of times, just like everybody else, we prefer to troll downwind. You know, we'd like to get the waves at our back. It just makes life a lot easier for everything. But tonight's one of those nights where the fish, we're catching more fish going into the wind and into the wind-driven currents, which is a little unusual, but not uncommon completely. And it's something you gotta keep in mind. You know, sometimes it's nice if the bite's going downwind well, Sometimes we'll just pick up and run back up and then troll back with them. But in the beginning of the night, you really got to take, take time to make one pass into the wind because this is a classic example. We'll go grab the net here. 
This is an example of a night where the fish really want the baits coming into the current or into the wind driven current at least. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's another nice fish. There we go. Just a nice fish right there. There we go. Oh, he popped off and you can see that's on one of those colors we talked about, one of those custom colors uh, that we talked about earlier in the show. And right here, a classic example of just a nice average sized Door County Sturgeon Bay walleye here in the summer months. You can catch piles of these. And if you like what you see, if you're interested in doing this, now's the time to get up here to Sturgeon Bay and take advantage of this fishery. All of August, even into September, these fish are gonna be out on these reefs. Night bite's gonna be going great, and it's gonna be a fun time if you get up here and get out here to chase these. Thanks again for watching, guys, and be sure to tune in next week for another episode of Fish Door County TV.